South Carolina football, they might be better, but man, look at that schedule. We'll dig into it with Will Gunter from the all-new early game. You can catch him on 107.5. The game, Will joins us on a regular basis to talk South Carolina and has for a number of seasons. Will, how are you doing today? Doing good. Glad to have uh, two games out of the way last night. A lot of fun to watch and ready for the for the whole buffet this coming weekend. Absolutely, including South Carolina and North Carolina. The last time we saw the Tar Heels and the Gamecocks get it together, South Carolina won that game, and North Carolina was en route to a uh, trip to the ACC championship game about uh, four years ago. Much different situation right now. South Carolina at uh, uh, seven and six last year. Uh, let's talk up the Gamecocks, and uh, it's one more go around for Jake Bentley. A lot of pluses, some minuses. I know that the interceptions have not always been his fault. But that has to be improved, uh, especially against uh, this brutal schedule. Well, certainly. I mean, it's consistency. You can't have uh, the performances you had against Mississippi and Clemson, even though the Clemson game ended up in a loss. But you cannot have the, the, the performances there where they were good that then followed up by, say, the Virginia game where he was 17 of 41. You need to have a little bit more consistency from Jake Bentley this coming season. I mean, you know, he goes into his senior year on pace to break pretty much every South Carolina passing record there is. When you look at uh, he stands with 54 touchdowns and 30, 30 interceptions in his career. So obviously a, a lot of opportunities for him to finish very high up in the record books. But he does need to play more consistent in big games and give the Gamecocks an opportunity to win. So, of course, Will, everybody knows about Debo Samuel. He's off to the NFL. By all indications, he could be a major factor in the pros. Uh, the, the the guys that are still there, talking about Shai Smith, talking about Brian Edwards, extremely good. There's going to have to be a lot of pass catchers uh, based on what I know of uh, what the offensive approach is going to be in terms of moving the sticks, up-tempo, a lot of plays, a lot of passing. A lot of guys need to get into the mix. And Edwards and Shai Smith, those are the first two guys that certainly draw everybody's attention. Brian Edwards, just as we talked about, being uh, sell out at the passing at the quarterback position, Brian Edwards is going to do that for the wide receiver position. And then Shai Smith has been very reliable for two straight years. That will be followed up by guys that are, are coming back. Uh, or Trey Smith was a four-star recruit that South Carolina was very high on that sat out last year with a medical injury, with an injury to his knee that was – uh, ended up earning him a red shirt year, but at 6'4 and, and 220 pounds, he's a guy that they're counting on. Josh Van was a four star recruit that they actually went in and beat out Georgia on, and is a guy that, again, played some last year, but, but didn't make the impact maybe they expected him to. But he's had a very good fall camp. So there's your first four guys. And then behind them, you got a bunch of pass catchers again. You got guys like Chavez Dawkins, who's been consistent throughout his career. You've got Randrakis Davis, who was a big time recruit, but has been injured throughout his career. They're very high on a freshman, Xavier Leggett. So they're deep at that position. And given the, the Pollard during the preseason at tight end, something that I think the wide receivers are going to have to step up this year. But there's a lot of options there. It's about up and getting the job done. And again, you're going to hear me say it anytime we talk consistency, being consistent and not dropping. Will Gunter joins us from uh, 107.5 The Game, the all new early game, his show early every uh, weekday morning. Uh, Will, I uh, got to run the ball. So um, I know that the offense is going to be predicated on Bentley's arm and the fleet wide receivers, uh, but uh, this has been a team I just saw a stat under Will Muschamp in three seasons have, has never finished better than 12th in the SEC in rushing. Rico Dowdle was a, a little bit uh, hobbled during the spring. How do you see the running game? You know, obviously the addition, the addition of Tavian Feaster is, is the one that we're going to start talking about and how can he push – Rico Dowdle, okay, he's been good at times, it's, it's, but again, I, I laugh. Consistency, consistency. That's basically the word. If you wanna, if you wanna start anything with South Carolina football, it's consistency. But at times, he's been injured and has not produced, especially from Tavian Feaster from Clemson, uh, the number one all-purpose back in his recruiting class. Impact the run game. Obviously, the offensive line is is some of that. South Carolina loses two starters off of the offense. I'll have to kind of reshift, but they've got a lot of experience on that offense. Robin can feast Rico Dowdle. What kind of effort does he give now that he's pushed by a better running back or someone who could possibly take snaps away from uh, Will, I'm glad you caught me on uh, Tavian Feaster. I got to tell you, I passed right by him. And of course, uh, Tavian Feaster, there was one point in his career with uh, Travis Etienne early on where, you know, there was a toss up as to a 
as to which was the better running back uh, when they first entered Clemson and split carries until Travis Heating just took off. So Tavian Feaster, obviously, in the mix in South Carolina is going to be a major factor to help boost that running game. Uh, look at the defense. Uh, your thoughts about uh, the defense and what's coming back and uh, what you expect on that side of the ball. Yeah, you know, I, I, look, I, I guess any question you ask, I'm going to start with consistency. Um, but but keeping guys healthy is certainly when we talk about the defense taking a big step forward as a whole, not just at one position, but as a whole in in 2019. And, you know, so far at least, there's a, again, I'll, I'll say this, consistency. And then the other thing that's going to be interesting with South Carolina football, and, and I'll get to this on defense in a second, is the fact that this isn't a young team anymore. This is an experienced ball club when you talk about starting on the defensive line Guys like Javon Kinlaw, Kier Thomas, uh, Kobe Smith, who are all seniors, who are all guys who have played in the system. And then uh, some freshmen and, and Zach Pickens and Joseph Anderson, who will be expected to contribute. But again, experience up front with Javon Kinlaw and Kier Thomas, Kobe Smith, and DJ Wanham. And then you go to the linebackers, TJ Brunson is a senior. Then you go to the defensive backs, and J.C. Horn and Israel McQuamu are, are guys. J.C. Horn played a lot last year. Not so much with McQuamu, but those are two defensive backs that the staff is very, very high on. And it's kind of funny that South Carolina is the beneficiary. There's a coaching turnover when you talk about is it Tennessee being fired and South Carolina being able to flip J.C. Horn, Jimbo Fisher leaving Florida State, and South Israel McQuamu, and that'll be the starting defense of the secondary uh, or the cornerbacks this coming year. The secondary play – to the safety position. They were all here. And when you look at guys like RJ Roderick and maybe JT eBay, Jamie Robinson, Jemiah Williams, a lot of I'd like to remind everyone that we've got a deal going with betnow.eu. So it's a joint venture between uh, myself and a number of YouTubers. We got bet now on the line, a volunteer road show, uh, a worthy cause for his son who's fighting cancer, cancer research. Uh, just grab the link that you see next to the uh, hashtag Sam Strong down in the description section below. Grab that link and uh, you see on the screen where you get an additional 50% added to your account. Actually, that's been up to 100%. So if you like to throw some money at the football games, grab that link down below. Get your account started on betnow.eu. Use the promo code MRTVCFB, MRTVCFB. Double your money right out of the gate to get you off to a good start uh, this betting season. We got Will Gunter on the line from 107.5 The Game. Will, there's no way around it. Uh, this is the most difficult schedule in college football, and there's a lot of good ones in the SEC, a lot of difficult slates for a number of teams, including Florida and Georgia, the chief competitors in the SEC East. But this is just sheer brutality when you talk about maybe matching up against the three best teams in the country, possibly Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, Texas A&M, Florida may not be far behind. 